So our penultimate race from Punchestown, as we end towards the festival, is the juvenile grade one champion four-year-old hurdle. So Devon Dumplin for Hollywood Hinton, Poncho Ice Cube for Stu Gray, Matt Cooper's The Dark Order, Triple Spark for David Robertson, You're Gonna Like It for Joshua Sutherland, and the Lion Damsel for Stu Gray, Martin Leland's Corsten's Pride, Darren Thompson's Gio Trapani, Flirting Around for Leon Van Rensburg, Kobe Ashu, Mari of Pedro Hogan, and Polar Link for Craig Beckwith makes up a field of 11 juveniles. The rain's starting to come down, the clouds have moved in, it's looking ominous. Let's see if Poncho Ice Cube can make up for that disaster last week as they all go over the first and the only one that made a mistake there was Kobayashi Maru. It's all pretty close here. The one a little bit wide is Corsten's Pride. So as they just take this turn. It's a wall of forces, the dark all the polar link flirting around Anthony and Damsel and Poncho Ice Group just taking a hold there. A couple of greys for Stu Gray. Devon Dumplin for Hollywood Hinton. The outside of that is Kobe Ashimaru who's improved. And then Treble Spark. And wider is you're going to like it. Widest of all is Corsten's Pride. And Duo Trapani who just stepped over that one rather. He's just our back marker at the moment. But it's the Dark Order that leads from Polar, Polar Link. Stronghold. One nearest towards us here in the Yellow Silks is Kobe Ashimaru. And the Lion Damsel and Poncho Ice Cube between horses is flirting around. And Devon Dumplin and Treble Spark. Corsten's Pride. And you're going to like it. And Duo Trapani. But it's Matt Cooper's The Dark Order that leads. Which won't help Poncho Ice Cube. Because he likes to dominate. I think that's been the problem. A couple of races he hasn't been out to dominate. They go over the fourth. They all clear that. Here now is Corsten's Pride, joining Duo Trapani. There's the bit on the ground. Did you notice that as everyone starts to shuffle back a little bit just on that bit of the Punches Town course? But it's the Dark Order that leads by three to Polar Link and Poncho Ice Cube. Then we've got And the Lion Damsel and Devon Dumplin. Between those is you're going to like it. They're followed through by Kobayashi Maru, still a little bit wide, Treble Spark. Moving up well on the inside now is Duo Trapani. Flirting around, dropped to the back as they go over the fifth. Corsten Pride still our back marker. So the Dark Order now going to be headed by Poncho Ice Cube. Still got six and a half furlongs left to run. So Poncho Ice Cube takes it up from the Dark Order. Polar Link following them through. And the Lion Damsel as well. Up on the inside is Duo Trapani. You're going to like it. Flirting around, it's not asked for anything yet, but starts to go now as they go over the fifth. Poncho Ice Cube gets headed this time by Polar Link. Up on the inside is the Dark Order. Order. Wider still is and the Lion Damsel and this flirting around of Josh of Leon Van Rensburg's Duo Trapani still trying to look for a bit of racing room. There's going to be some sub, sub stories here as we come down to the final half mile. Kobayashi Maru trying to bash through but just gets up the rear of another horse. So it's Polar Link, the Dark Order, Poncho Ice Cube and and the Lion Damsel and Devon Dumplin, a line of them. Behind them they've got no racing room as they go over the seventh. And the Lion Damsel was jumped, Poncho Ice Cube was slow so it's and the Lion Damsel from Polar Link, Devon Dumplin. Kobayashi Maru on the outside, so Polar Link just nosing ahead, and here comes Devon Dumplin for Del Hinton, and it's Devon Dumplin that noses in front from Polar Link, and the Lion Damsel and Kobayashi Maru, they're away from the rest here, and it's Devon Dumplin, inside the furlong and a half from Polar Link on his inside and the outside, and the Lion Damsel, Kobayashi Maru needs a little bit more, and it's Devon Dumplin, but here comes Polar Link up on the inside, inside the final half, over the last, great jump by Polar Link, and Polar Link's in the lead from Devon Dumplin and the Lion Damsel, but Devon Dumplin trying to fight back, but Polar Link's going to hold them all off from Devon Dumplin and the Lion Damsel. The rest didn't really get into that, so a surprising win there. Especially as Craig Beckwith had given poor old Polar Link a bit of a knock in the in in the threads of the forum. Takes that one well done with Polar Link, Devon Dumplin for Tell Hinton up for second. Also well done. Anth Lion Damsel, Damsel for Stu Gray was third. Kobe Ashimara of Pedrick Hogan was fourth. And Duo Trampani for Darren Thompson was fifth. And the two decent horses that we rave about flirting around on Poncho Ice Cube might, might as well have not even come out of the stables.